What's up guys, Ras here. Today we're doing a review, or actually a how-to, tips and tricks on how to play the ghost in Ghostcraft, as well as the other team. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to play, and tips and tricks that you can use to play. Now, first we'll start with the ghost, as you can see here, showing you kind of what to do. Uh, the ghost has a few main abilities, if you don't know what he can do. He can have a, he has a little super jump thing that allows him to jump five blocks from right clicking with either his sword or his shears. Now your sword is your slash. It doesn't do that much damage but it, if you poke someone enough they will die. Um, it's best as a noob to probably use your sh your sword a bunch because if using your shears is really hard and stabbing is not exactly easy to be entirely honest. Um, yeah so stick with this I'd say stick with the sword at the start and yeah just keep jumping around. It's a really good idea to try to just learn how to jump around so that you don't um, die because a really pro a big problem is that people don't know how to jump around really well and yeah it's also using strategy as you see here these two guys yeah they fight each other because they thought that one of them hit one another but obviously it didn't also thing to keep in mind is that you can be healed from um, their potions and things uh, as you see here that guy with the nameplate with the red it was in red that means he's about to die I could take him out with three shots so I didn't really take that much damage and me saying nom right there was just being cocky um <laughs> so yeah uh really it's just about jumping around as long as you master your jumping around ability then it's really easy uh you just j jump right into them and they won't even suspect a thing and uh, you have to jump and then run away it's just a hit and run type thing if you stay long for too long they're gonna hit you like right then I, that was probably bad timing because that guy ran in swinging you don't run into them while they're swinging and yeah, I just try to be careful and stuff, and really, it, there's a steep learning curve, but if you keep practicing, you'll get the hang of it in the end. Um, yeah, so there's also stabbing. See here, stabbing. Stabbing isn't that hard, it's only the fact that you need to keep practicing stabbing. It's it's just, you know, it's timing. Uh, once you click it, two to three seconds before you can actually insta-kill them. It's pretty powerful, but it's not overpowered, in my opinion, because you know, a lot of the time your stabs can miss. Um, me, I'm not a professional stabber, I'll be honest. I'm a pretty good stabber, but usually I don't go for like all on stabs unless you're going for support. Like this guy, although I missed him, it's better to go for support stabs because they can have a whole lot of heals. And you, if you insta-kill a support, it's a lot better than um, trying to hit them with a sword. Now this girl, she was on low HP and she doesn't have any health pots, so it's probably a good idea to just take her out like that. You have to really use a whole lot of strategy when it comes down to this. Who do you want to kill, who to focus first, and who to run away from. Next up, we have our jumping and stuff. Um, you have more than one... Oh, you saw there. That's another way you can use your abilities. You also have the frag grenade, which I'll get into later. And you also have your jumpy thingy. If you hold down shift for a long amount of time... Hear it? Yeah you will do a super super high jump and you charge it up to four power and you will get a super super high jump it's pretty pretty powerful um, I tried to knock that guy off the edge but I failed uh, over here I'm just creating havoc I haven't even left the base on this map and all I've been using is the distractibility over and over and people are spamming the great grenades over there that is called strategy everybody over there thinks I'm over there I'm not actually over there at all and uh, it's really beneficial for me to make them get rid of the, all the grenades just by doing that. Um, they will all use their grenades at that area because they think I'm over there because the bone makes a sound wherever you click it um, and it sounds like you so people will be scared and probably try to attack that area and therefore waste their grenades because grenades right now are really your main problem because grenades can really really tear you apart. Um, Another thing to keep in mind is that these soldier guys, uh, generally, if they're in big groups like this, you want to try to use all your abilities on them, like you saw I did there. I don't think I really hit the flash, but this poison grenade right here, it hit a total of three people, and three is really good. Uh, then, another strategy I use for the frag grenades, you throw it straight up, boom, falls straight down. It has time in the air to to beep and stuff and takes time in the air so when it hits the ground it instantly explodes. It's a really good strategy for trying to take out large groups and such. 
Now, that's playing as the ghost. Here's playing as the not ghost, or I don't really know what to call them, the ghost hunters. My favorite class is probably the soldier because he has the three grenades and the, the sword, which has sharpness one. Uh, yeah, it's got the kill on that ghost right there. The thing to keep in mind is that your grenades are very, very useful. Whenever you see his smoke or anything, just shoot a grenade there. Really, it, it'll really help you out when it comes down to killing the ghost because a lot of the time he's away from you. He'll be jumping away from you. The grenades, they go instantly to where they are. So right there, I got confused. Then I saw him down there. Boom. Really, grenades are kind of overpowered in this, but, you know whatever um yeah that's why i would choose soldier other classes are useful but mm, they're not that great and yeah that's about all really it's just about playing and practicing there's a steep learning curve to this game but once you learn it you'll be really good at it uh i try to be good and i think i am good uh cocky much right and yeah that's about all guys and uh yeah good luck on the server and i will talk to you guys later peace out